Now, on this one, my original plan was, was to get an unswitched double socket. Came up with a problem there though. Those sockets only have one set of connections, so regardless of which switch you switch here, both double sockets would go live. So, the solution that I've come up with, if you just bear with me, I'll just grab them, are these. These are from NAP, but they're made by loads of manual manufacturers. This is a, a socket module. So I've got two of those. There's the other, there's the other one. There's the faceplate. And those two modules clip into there. They're independently powered. And that will do the job. Right, so, basically here's your socket front. Oh, sorry. There's your front that goes in. Here's your socket. Normal connections on the back. And all that does is it just clips in on the front to the back. Like that. One more second. It does go in, because I've done it before. I've edited it out. Okay, that's one. Back, here's the second one. And done. And there it is. Oops, there we go. And there we are. And there are the connections on the back. And that just goes straight onto that back box. Like I say, put a couple of labels on the bottom there. And that's the solution. Might not be the most elegant solution for plugs that are visible, but plugs that aren't going to be visible, like we're doing here for these fridge freezers and tumble dryer, they're not going to be seen. I think that's a really neat, really nice solution. Yeah, so we'll get that on, get that all wired up. And we'll get that on. That's how it looks now that it's on. You can see all the wiring's in there, down there, and it's always got the fly lead from the back box. That's been done. So that screws on onto the front of that. <laughs> oh look, that's not good, is it? That says top. Does it really matter? Oh, I'm, I'm doing I'm worried about that. Right, so we'll get that on. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem, to be honest with you. I know it says top, but it, that doesn't really matter. So. Let's get that on and then uh, we'll see how it looks. So that's how it looks, the finished front. Obviously that front will come off. There we go. That front will come off uh, when the plaster ball comes on. So we'll just need to take that off when that happens, but we don't need to at the moment. So that's fine. That's just not on there properly there. There we go, it is now. It's all clipped into place. Yeah. 